Hey guys, this is Seth Sanford, and as you saw on my last GalaxyCon video, you saw me talk to some of the stars of Star Wars, that is Warwick Davis, Hirono Sotomo, and Brian Hoeing. And today, as it's May the 4th day, is where we celebrate all things Star Wars, I'm, I'm giving you a special bonus video from the GalaxyCon Star Wars virtual panel. I'm going to be talking to the star of the Star Wars prequel trilogy, and he's the man behind the mask in the prequel trilogy, and of course he plays Boba Fett, and we have the new Boba Fett series coming out at the end of the year, and the man behind the mask of the Star Wars character Boba Fett goes by the name of Daniel Logan. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my virtual talk with Daniel Logan of the Star Wars prequel trilogy, and may the fourth be with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos and turn on this notification so you don't miss out. Anyways, enjoy the video and I shall see you on the next one. Oh, <laughs> hey Daniel. That's what Daniel Logan. I look like Django Fett, but I'm really Boba Fett. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm guys. Gonna... Hope you don't mind me interrupting really quick for a quick photo. Yes, yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to count to three. Ready? Ready. One, two, and three. Perfect. Well, well first oh, off, um, I liked what you did just now, um, putting on the helmet of a Mandalorian. It's Thank amazing. you so much. You know what? I have a lot of different helmets. I love Boba Fett. I uh, I think I overly love my character, but hey, there's there's nothing wrong with that, right? No, nothing at all. Do you want to see the rest of them? Hang um, on, yeah, of course. Let me go and grab them. All right. So you can't be a Mandalorian without yeah. having the holiday special Mandalorian colored helmet. I'm Boba Fett from the holiday special. How are you doing? All right, so we got that one, right? We'll put yeah. that one over here. So I got this guy. <laughs> Stormtrooper. Oh, uh, uh, the wrong, wrong guy. Uh, oh. <laughs> not too bad for a Stormtrooper. Yeah, my bad. That was the wrong one. And uh, <clears throat> this is the Mandalorian way. Uh, All right. Yeah, you like the Mandalorian? I love the Mandalorian. You know what? They just so the only I. problem I have with the Mandalorian, it was exactly. too short. I needed to be like four hours long, like Star Wars, so that I could enjoy it for longer. They'd only give it to me for like two, uh, 20, 30 minutes, and uh, I wanted some more time. Oh, God, man. <laughs> now, here you are as Boba Fett from the prequel trilogy. Hello, Sid. I'm yeah. Boba Fett. How are yeah. you? <laughs> For, okay, I, dark side. Yeah. If, okay, I got a couple questions on Star Wars. All right, let's go. Yeah, growing up watching the first Star Wars movie, um, how would you describe the character of Boba Fett uh, before taking on the role in the prequels? That's a great question. Uh, well, Boba Fett, his whole history was already developed before I could even um, have brought him to life. So not only did Jeremy Bullock and Dickie Bear, Mark, uh, John Morton, all these other characters portray the character before me, but the fans had already, already created and, and established a background story for him through comics, stories, um, and stuff like that to where Boba Fett has uh, a history going back to Cassius Fett, um, who was his grandfather, who was his grandfather. So um, moving it forward, it was it was all new development for me because I had no clue what Star Wars was when I grew up. And oh, really? The film, no. So it was a whole new learning curve, where I had to go from absolutely no Star Wars to where it just kind of did a big U turn, and I now indulged and I love Star Wars so much. Other than that, it, it was more or less trying to develop a story between a father and son in an, in a in a in a strange but not strange world, which mm -hmm. is. Star obviously i know how that feels but what can i say it's always good to try something new here's the next question for you uh, right. on the set on the set of the prequel trilogy how hard was it to train for the fight sequences and performance of a mandalorian like boba fett um well i mean the fight sequences they were mainly done by the stunt team but they were um all mainly jango fett's fights i got uh. to 
didn't observe most of them. So when I was in the cockpit shooting down at Obi-Wan um, on the, uh, uh, what would you call that? The, uh, the platform where the spaceships would land um, and the Slave One sitting on. Well, on the back dock, I guess, the space dock, whatever. Oh. Um, but yeah, so uh, being able to shoot down at him, it was funny to be going from the angle where we were shooting at to the angle that George Lucas made it look like it was. So mm-hmm. I was sitting in a normal cockpit chair like this, but when it came to the movie, it looked like I was upside down and I was oh. trying to climb up over the cockpit, but that was not the, the, the case. I was, it was normal the whole time until he revert, uh, reversed the camera angles or whatever. And it came to the movie and it made me look like I was literally upside down like this, climbing up out of a seat. Wow. And that must have looked insane. Yeah. Um, Being able to be in that situation and then thinking of how you imagine that scene to be shot and then watching it in the movie and then seeing how he managed to to manipulate the the angles of the cameras to make it look like it was a completely different like shot altogether. uh, That's what George Lucas is. He's an amazing, amazing man. With such a, and, and finally, oh, before we sign off, I have something yeah. to show. And I can see you have a baby Yoda um, next to your Boba Fett costume. All right, up here. I have the same thing right here. Oh, that is beautiful. I got it at the nearest HMV in Bristol um, on the Halloween afternoon. And, and this baby Yoda, it, it moves. And, <laughs> too cute to watch and every time i try touching his forehead i try to get him to do the magic hand thing in the mandalorian just like just now just now he did it for us yeah it yeah it takes it takes a little while to get to the right um voice thingy in the baby yoda doll oh so- that is the cutest thing ever i think he likes you I think I like him too. Ah, uh, well, thank you so much for chatting with me. You're most welcome, Daniel. You're the man. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and an even better and brighter Monday. Uh, yeah. Start to your week. Yeah, and have a fantastic May the 4th. And may the 4th be with you, Seb. And let me give you one last word of okay. advice. Sure. Keep your helmet on. Also, wear a mask. Okay, because all right, this, this is the way. This, this is, is the way, the way. I've spoken. Stay safe uh, out there. You too. Bye. Bye, Seb.